What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. We have basically two stories today. One is about the Google Pixel 4a 5G and also the Google Pixel 5. Two phones I know you're so excited about. So let's talk about these. This information comes from a Redditor who leaked out a live image of both phones and specs for the phones as well. Now here's a first look at the image, images of the uh, two phones here. And you got the Pixel 4a 5G and the Pixel 5. And these phones, Again, we've kind of seen the images of these before, so the look of them, not that crazy, you know, with the, the, the dual cameras on the back with the flash along with the fingerprint sensor, which again, best place in the world to put the fingerprint sensor. You cannot find a better place than that. Maybe the side, but I don't know. The back is a pretty smart and, and good place. But let's talk about specs. For the Google Pixel 4a 5G, which will be $499 when it comes out, $499. It's gonna have a 3800 milliamp battery. It's gonna have two lenses. For the first time, it's going to have a wide angle lens. So that 0.5, X wide angle lens, and then a regular standard lens, which would be the same as the Pixel 4. 12 point megapixel uh, camera on the back, eight megapixel on the front. Processor inside will be a Snapdragon 765G, so a mid-range processor, but it will be able to do 5G. Also, it's gonna have six gigabytes of RAM, and the display will be 60 hertz. No 90 hertz, no 120, just 60 hertz. Plastic back with a fingerprint sensor, like I said, also includes a headphone jack. So those are welcome additions. I know for a lot of people to have a headphone jack, obviously with a plastic back, you might think, eh, it's gonna be cheap, but I think you can drop that. It's not gonna crack on the back like a normal glass phone would. And Google's plastics are usually fairly nice feeling in your hand. What about the Pixel 5? Now, I don't have a price, but after looking at these specs, I'm assuming it's probably gonna be around $599, maybe $649. So you're looking at a 4,000 milliamp battery, so slightly larger than the 4A 5G. Same camera setup. You're gonna get that uh, wide angle lens as well as our standard lens. And then the cameras, again, would be 12.2 megapixels back and eight megapixels on the front. Snapdragon 765G, same exact as the 4A 5G. 8 gigabytes of RAM, so you're getting a little bit more RAM. The screen will be 60 hertz and 90 hertz. That would match what you got on the Pixel 4 and 4 XL, which was a 90 hertz display, so you'll be able to do the same on the Google Pixel 5. Plastic back with a fingerprint. Again, welcome additions. I, it doesn't bother me one bit. And But this one will have no headphone jack. So you look at those specs, you compare them both side by side, the 4A 5G versus the 5. There's really not much of a difference. The two, three things stand out. There's more RAM on the five, eight versus six. The Hertz on the display, 90 versus 60. The headphone jack is on the 4A 5G, but not on the five. So again, you have to expect that these phones are going to be very, very inexpensive and very close in price. I would totally expect the five to be no more than 599. I don't even think it can. I, I, it, Maybe 549, I don't know, it, it, that's a little bit crazy. It's probably gonna be 599. And at that point, you're looking at phones that, especially on the five, the five is, is that generation of phone is usually high-end processor. It's usually the, the latest Snapdragon processor. It's out the 845. Um, I believe I had the 855 last year, 835 before that. Now they're going to mid-range uh, specs on this. But in the grand scheme of things, you'll have 5G. You'll have an extremely way lower price tag, basically half the price of what it's normally uh, worth on there. And at that point, do you need all that processor any? Isn't a lot of it just going to waste? Are you playing all these high-end games? Are you converting video files? Most people aren't. So this is gonna be a perfectly fine phone for probably their customer base. They're still gonna get that Pixel camera experience, but for a much better price. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. Question out to you guys is, what do you think about this? Do you think these are smart specs for smart prices or do you think it's just like, oh, get it away from me, I don't want it. Let me know what you guys think. I'm curious to know what you think of the 4A 5G and the 5. I, I personally, I might just go the 4A 5G if it was up to me just because it's gonna be cheaper and do you need the 90 hertz? Maybe you want the headphone jack more so and is the six gigabytes of RAM versus the eight gigabytes of RAM make that big of a difference? Let me know. Thanks for watching. See you down the road.